what's poppin my dudes it's the glam king here and today i got you guys a crazy hotspot glitch people always sleep on hotspots in this game but you really do need them to make your shots now see if you have your hotspots like snags here you can even make full core shots like it's nothing now all you gotta do to do this glitch is make sure that you don't even have to be a starter i did this with six minutes per game so i'm gonna show you guys a little little mini glitch real quick so whenever you go to halftime in a game you gotta be up or down by 11 click start go to ask out and sim to end as soon as you hit yes on this spam the menu or start button so hit a and spam menu as soon as you hit yes or x if you're on ps4 but um every single time you do this it will keep adding your points by resimming the end of the game and after this game is over you'll have scored so many points that the coach will give you more minutes do this like one or two times you'll have enough minutes to go on with the hotspot glitch this little ask out sim to end method is also a really good method to get extra vc but keep in mind that at the end here you see my points aren't going up if you do it two times in a row and your points don't go up there is a max to it like you just stop and go ahead and exit it will cut you off at some point. But as you can see here, here were my hot spots after I was trying to grind for badges. I was missing a lot of shots because the Kawhi Leonard AIs have crazy defense and you can't make any type of shots on career. But what you want to do is you want to sim one game at a time. Do not sim all the way to the end of the season like all these YouTubers probably tell you. Don't do five or six games at a time like I'm doing here. Do one game at a time. Now I'm going to check my hotspots in between, but if you do one game at a time, like you just sim to the next one, and you wait for it to sim, then you sim to the next one, and you just keep doing that, your guy will take more shots for some reason. The more games you sim at a time, the less shots it will take. I don't know why it's like this, but it is. As you can see here, my guy's already starting to light up the board, and I've only simmed a few games. I'm going to skip ahead real quick here, because I, I messed around a lot with looking at my stats and everything, and it also doesn't. It doesn't take the shortest amount of time. Like it kind of takes a little bit of time to sim all the way to the end of the season. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here to a couple games before the end of the season. So as you can see, I've only simmed. And my whole entire board is lit up. Even that spot that I had like 15 for 40 is hot now. And I'll show you real quick how much I have left in the season. There's about 10 games probably. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. But it's close to the end of the season. That's the point. And I haven't played any games for real. Like my guy has gotten all these hotspots. Keep in mind you don't actually have the hotspots yet. You have to do the glitch at the end. But as you can see we're coming up on the end of the season here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish simming the rest of the games. Now keep in mind you cannot start your next season or you will lose your hotspots. Now as you can see here here's my final hotspots. Also, it will not count as a hotspot unless you have around 70 shots taken somewhere around there. Don't quote me on that. But you'll see which ones of my hotspots actually turn into hotspots in a second here. Now, when you get done with the season, you have to go to the playoffs. So go ahead and sim to the end of the regular season. Now, when you start the playoffs, you can play them if you want. You don't have to. Basically, after your first playoff game, these hot spots will turn into hot zones. You see, I have no hot zones right now. But after you play one real game, it'll think that you earned all those hot spots by yourself. So they will actually turn into your hot zones. So make sure you don't sim to the end of the playoffs because you can do that. Make sure you actually click on the first game and you play it. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to being in the game because you guys don't want to watch this loading screen. So yeah, let's skip ahead right now. Now here's the tip off. You don't even have to play the game, you just have to be in it, because if you're in it, it's counted as playing the game. Now as soon as it started right here, I went ahead and I simmed to the end. So sim to the end, yes. Now when you sim to the end, it'll still count it as a game like you played it, you just won't get VC. You can still get progress towards your, your players overall and badges and all that, which is why it counts as a real game. Now. I now have hotspots in all the areas where I took over around 70-ish shots. Now I also got all of these hot zones, or hot spots, with only 6 minutes per game. I played one game and did that little ask out sim to end glitch at the beginning. And I started out with 1 minute per game or whatever, my first game, you know, you could barely get in the game. I did that glitch, 
then I got up to six minutes. So if you did that two or three times, you would have way more than six minutes per game and you would score and get more hot spots than I did. So I got all this with minimal effort. Like I didn't do anything out of my way to get it. Now I'm not gonna cut any of this out. I'm just gonna wait on him to get in there and show you guys the hot spots. But while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and say that when you're in the playoffs, you can keep playing the rest of the playoff games. You can play all of them and earn your, the rest of your hot spots. Like if you're a couple, a couple uh, shots off of a hot spot, go ahead and try to earn that hot spot. Go ahead. Just do not start the next season. I'm not sure if you can send the playoff games or not to try to earn more. But as you can see here, I've got all my hot zones that I want mid-range and in the paint as I'm a shot creating slasher I would like to have more I mean I could shoot threes I might start the next season try to get more minutes and get all of my hot spots because I can shoot threes and I can shoot mid-range and I kind of want all my hot spots but I'm happy with that for now and like I said I didn't have enough minutes per game to actually get all of them but I will probably restart the season so yeah guys this is a really good method and I just thought I'd share it with you because all these other YouTubers are trying to make it hard on us by telling us the wrong hotspot methods and all that. But anyways, I'm out guys. Peace. Perform like this.